Good morning, my friend. Sean Veek, SeanVeekFitness.com. Uh, full vinyasa flow workout today. I, was, I could barely sleep last night. I was so excited about this one. We're going to flow through these yoga poses, adding in some surprises as we go. Cap on, always use control and modify as needed. And for this one, because we have all the sprinklers and the noise and the alligators and everything, I'm going to do a voiceover. So let's cue the voiceover in three, two, All right, thank you, Sean. And there we are, a little pose before we begin. Shoes are optional. I'm going shoeless for this one. I'm tucking in my shirt. Remember to modify as needed and always use control. Let's start with one of my favorite warm-ups, or not the favorite warm-up, forearm plank. Do a little pressing forward and back here. My elbows are underneath my shoulders. We want to make sure that we warm up every part of our body. Get it nice and warm. Get the muscles all stretchy like, like Play-Doh. And then we can really start to flow. Vinyasa flow is its power yoga. It's flowing from one pose to the next. And let's do some alternating knee taps. 20 in all, keeping your abdominals tight and keeping your breath flowing. Good. When I film this, it's actually today. Um, beautiful day, nice breeze. It was just, just had a great time being outside sprinklers in the background on a lovely florida afternoon so i hope wherever you're doing this it's special all right i'm gonna lower all the way down a little adjustment here get my stuff out of the way and downward facing dog get used to this one vinyasa flow a lot of down dog I'm gonna walk the legs one at a time get a good stretch going there fingers open wide Relaxing the shoulders, getting any tension out of your neck. Good. Heels are going to work their way down. Now take it forward into plank position. Parallel with the ground. You can modify with the knees down. Palms directly under the shoulders. Keep squeezing those abdominals. And then press forward. Lower down nice and slow. Elbows into the sides. And then Open up to upward facing dog. Modify with the forearms down. This is vinyasa flow in a nutshell. Of course, this workout is going to add all sorts of other components. Oh, just you wait. Drop the shoulders down, squeeze the glutes. Back to downward facing dog. Good. Fingers wide. You want big hands. Spread the toes out. Relax the neck. Take it forward. Plank position. Sometimes called high push-up. Weight shifts forward. Lower down. Control. Control. And then lift up. Squeeze your butt muscles to protect your lower back. Do a little movement here to work out the kinks. Tuck the toes back to downward facing dog. But spread those fingers wide. Forward plank position. I'm gonna lower all the way down. Superman, the arms come forward. You're going to do 10 pulses up and down. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Superman, just like the many different movies, my eyes are to the ground. I'm keeping my chin tucked a little bit to make sure the back of my neck is nice and long. So inhale, lift, exhale, down. Breathing in the nose, out the mouth, in the nose, out the nose. Classic yoga breathing. But 10 times, great for your lower back. Good, hands down, and press her up into your up dog. Back to downward facing dog. Good. Always replant those feet, get a good solid foundation. Forward to plank, and then lower down, take your time. There we are, we have our Superman again. Just going to hold it here, lots of breath. That means a full inhale and a full exhale. The inhales give you that nice floating feeling, and then we press up upward facing dog. Good, moving around a bit. Hey, smile, checking on the dog. <laughs> it's a family thing. We bring our, our dogs with when we film. Back to down dog. Forward to plank. Putting together a smooth vinyasa, elbows into the sides, hover, hover, squeeze the abs, and then rise to upward facing dog. 
very organic. You have no machines or weights to get in your way. You can just keep on moving. Good. Forward plank position. Lower down. Now here comes the banana. Roll onto your side. The legs come forward. Shoulders relaxed. I'm not going to fall for a banana in the tailpipe. Keep the core tight. Stomach, lower back, hips and glutes. Really nifty move here. Then we come to Superman in the center and then other side. Banana. Full of potassium. Shoulders relax. Keep those abdominals tight as you continue to breathe. You want to keep a nice steady flow of breath. Always to those muscles. All right, back to Superman and then upward facing dog. Get that nice stretch in the lower back, that natural curve. Downward facing dog. Good. Forward to plank. We're going to do our banana series once again, called the BS. Roll on to the side. Very good. I like this move. Make sure you got a nice sur soft surface there for your hip bone. As you can see, I'm on cement. Doesn't get any softer than that. Roll to the other side. You'll know you've gone too far if you roll all the way over. There we are. Feel those muscles shaking a little bit. I'm having a good time there. All the muscles working, my friends. Upward facing dog. Drop those shoulders down, lifting the head a little bit, relaxing the jaw, and press back to down dog. Now we're going to do what we call the Pilates plank. So bring the forearms down. With the exhale, you're going to keep your body tight. You're going to lower down. You can come all the way down or just slightly off the mat, and then press back up. So exhale down, brush the nose on the thumbs 10 times. Exhale, inhale. Keeping the abdominals tight, really working. You've got the core working. Really hits your back muscles as well. I love this move. You're fighting the gravity the whole time. Ten times in total. This one really gets me. I've been teaching this one a lot in my classes for devastating effects. And the last one, upward facing dog. Press it up, drop the shoulders, and back to down dog. All right, spread those fingers out wide and forward to plank position. Let's do our Pilates planks once again 10 times. Get that strong forearm plank. Exhale down, inhale up, squeezing the bejesus out of your back muscles, your lat muscles. Exhale down, inhale up. Make a good steady rhythm with this exercise. Keeping the neck nice and long, touching the nose on the thumbs or vice versa. All right, upward facing dog, pressing up. Squeeze those glutes, work out the kinks. Back to downward facing dog. Forward to plank position. Press forward a little more, lower down into the hover. See if you can hold it here for a few seconds. And then open up to upward facing dog. There we are. I got my jaw relaxed. It looks kind of funny. It looks like I'm Novocaine, but you want that nice looseness in the jaw. Forward to plank position. Now, side forearm plank. You can drop the hips down, keep the knees bent. Voila, like that. Or lift up. We're going to bring the knee in, so I'm going to take my arm up and draw that knee in and hold right here. We're going to breathe into every muscle. we got every muscle working right here. As we hold that side forearm plank, a very powerful move, making the wind pick up. All right, bring it down. Now switch to the other side. You can get a nice view of my butt. There we are. Side forearm plank, draw the knee in. That left leg I got right there, I think I can flex it. There we go, flex that foot. Tighten those abdominals and drown your muscles in the breath. Itch the nose. There we are, reaching so tall I'm out of the frame. That's crazy. Good breath and bring it back down. Lower down, upward facing dog. Continue that flow. The title is Vinyasa Flow. We got to do them back to down dog. Stretch those legs, walking the legs a little bit. Got the short shorts. <laughs> they weren't like that when I put them on. Forward to plank position. Again, side forearm plank. Remember your options? Fix the shirt. Now we're going to add some movement here. Ten times we bring the elbow to the knee. Exhale and inhale out. That's two. Three. 
You can hold four. You can hold this if this is too much. Just hold the plank like before. Five more times. Seven. Exhale and eight. And nine. And one more time, my friends. Ten. Beautiful work. Stretch. And now the other side. Full body move, working every darn muscle. Bring the bring it out. Exhale and inhale at one, two, three, four, five. Good. Really extend as you inhale. Six, seven, eight. Good. Everything else is perfectly still. Nine. One more time. One more time. And then reach and bring it back down. Upward facing dog. We just continue the flow. Good little movement there. <laughs> and back to downward facing dog. What movement that was. Stretch it out. Lengthen the arms. Relax the shoulders. Inhale to plank. Forward. Lower down. Work the hover. Hold the hover. See how long you can hold it there. And then upward facing dog. Stretching out the spine. Dropping the shoulders. Back to downward facing dog. And then... Knees out, child's pose. Bottoms of the feet together and sway your upper body side to side as we breathe into that beautiful child's pose. Getting a little bit of a hip opener in there also. Sneaky. Relaxing those shoulders. Relax the neck. Excellent. Such a great stopping off pose. As we feel those muscles of the spine releasing and stretching, bring some oxygen in before we move on. Now bring it back to downward facing dog. Inhale plank position, press forward, lower down, hover action, and then open up upward facing dog. Press back, down dog. Really sink and work those heels into the soil. All right, forward to plank. Lower all the way down. And this is called the shark. Lace the fingers, bend the knees 90 degrees. Flex the feet, draw the arms back. Shark, I used to teach this at Montessori school for the kids. You do a little sway side to side. Nah, nah. Oh, boys. I think he's back for his noon feeding. But open up the chest. Keep the chin tucked. We've got the uh, Florida orange between the chin and the chest. All right, release. And then upward facing dog. Up we go. Can't escape that mighty flow or the rhymes. Back to down dog. Long legs, long spine. And bring it forward again. Lower all the way down from plank. Take your time. Squeeze the elbows into the sides. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is just marvelous. Now you can do shark again or bow, reaching back, grabbing the ankles or the feet. Press the toes up, open the chest. A lot of stretch in the quads. My quads are a little tight. You can see right here, that's the tops of my thighs. So I'm stretching them out with the bow, a little rocking forward and back, breathing in and pressing my pubic, pubic bone down into the mat. And then release, upward facing dog. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your arse, and then back to downward facing dog. Constant flow, we just got the heat up in the body so much, it's so pliable. All right, a little plank time. Take a forward full plank, of course. Now bring the forearms down. Hold your forearm plank, or walk the elbows in front of the shoulders. It's called the walkout plank. As you inhale, you're going to squeeze. Wait, as you inhale, you're going to lift just slightly, a little pulse, exhale, squeeze the abdominals. So always flex the abs, flex the abs on the exhale. And then drop down, upward facing dog, up dog. Arms are feeling good, back to down dog. Good, any movements here, adjust, you can walk the legs a little bit, relax the shoulders, a lot of blood to the brain, forward to plank position. And once again, bring those forearms down. Hold the forearm plank. Modify with the knees down or walk the elbows forward. I'm going a little further this time. I'm taking it up a notch. Good. Parallel with the ground. That's the important part. I mean, your butt will lift a little bit. But what that does is take the emphasis out of your abdominals, out of your core. 
So we want to keep it parallel. Nice. Now, upward facing dog. We press up. Arms are feeling like mush there. They feel great. My grandmother used to make mush in the morning. It was fabulous. Downward facing dog. Forward plank position. Lower down. Hover action, hover action. And then reach the arms forward. We're going to do the swim for 30 seconds here. Allow me to program the stopwatch. 30 seconds of swimming, chopping the arms. You can go a little slower than this. You can go faster. But make sure you breathe in for five counts. Exhale for five counts. Nothing like adding the breath to the movement, I always say, to make it the most effective exercise possible. Now, keep your eyes to the mat. I'm looking at the stopwatch there, so you don't have to do that. Let me control that time for you. Just keep chopping the arms and the legs, breathing into that movement. And then release down, upward facing dog. All those back muscles working. You see me moving. I like to do that little move in there. It keeps it nice and loose, stretching it out. Back to down dog. That's an organic movement. I just feel like doing it. Sometimes I feel release in my spine. Take it forward to plank position. We're going to lower down again. Swimming, 30 seconds, 30 Sekunden once again. And there we go, 30 seconds of swimming. Whole body workout. I love swimming. I know that every muscle is working on the back side of my body, including my abdominals. I'm working my, my tush, my shoulders, my back, working my cardio. My heart rate is spiking while I do this. So keep breathing in for five and out for five, 30 seconds. And release. Upward facing dog. Stop the stopwatch there. Up dog. A lot of work right there for your back. Now you stretch it out. Back to down dog. Wide legged down dog. Wide stance. Take the upper body and sway it side to side. Get a much bigger stretch. Get a chance to target the sides as well. Big stretch in those sides. Relax the neck. Working the heels down. And jump the feet together, and then jump or walk forward, forward fold. And then we're going to rise up, flat back, fingertips on the shins, and lower back down. And then all the way up, squeeze the abdominals. Alrighty then. Triangle pose, wide stance. Take your right hip, open that foot up, turn the left foot in slightly, arms out. I tip my cap to you, that's, that's a good sign. Reach your hinge. There's the shirt. Now you can grab the leg, lift the arm up, or slide the hand all the way down. Now my hand is slightly off the screen, but rest assured it is still there. Triangle, draw that left arm back. Squeeze the thighs. I need more triangle in my life. I teach it a lot, and I find that I don't do it enough. Now revolve the triangle. Take that hand down to the foot, next to the foot, or on the leg, and reach the other arm up. Revolving triangle with each inhale lift a little taller with each exhale open a little more Now bring it down now you can go back to triangle if you want my friends or here's the advanced option half moon Take that right hand about a foot in front of the foot and then lift up You may not be able to open up all the way to the front so you can read plank or die on the shirt You can also lift that hand slightly off the ground to make it a balance move Love that pose. Now you can go back to revolving triangle or revolving half moon. So you see what's happening here. Lifting that arm up. Revolving. <laughs> Not the best description, but you see what's happening. All right, bring it all the way up. Dramatic switch transition triangle on the other side. So open that left foot, that left hip. Hand on the thigh or all the way down. We're in the sun there. Fix the cap. And then drawing that arm back. Think of fitting between a screen door and a door. There's a smile. Good. Love that triangle. Now revolve the triangle. Just turning around. F keep those legs engaged. Keep flexing them. My legs have needed a lot more stretching lately. I've been doing a lot more biking. I took up kangoo jumping, which is amazing. There we are. And then open back up. We have triangle or half moon pose. Bring your hand down, then opening up. Make sure you do both sides, of course. 
absentmindedly adjusting the shirt obsessive compulsive yoga that's a whole new line right there there we are opening up now this side was a little more challenging see my legs shaking a little bit I'm finding my focal point I'm looking at the tripod on the camera but there we are nice big pose every muscle every muscle working to speed up the metabolism now we revolve either triangle or half moon every move we're doing in here you can also grab that foot by the way foot or ankle every move we're doing here my friends is working every muscle that's great news for many reasons the biggest reason is the more muscles you work the higher your metabolism goes you keep spiking it up you burn calories more efficiently and you burn them when you're not moving which is so awesome all right bring it all the way around downward facing dog there we go nice little break dance move there downward facing dog walk the legs out a little bit open the fingers wide it's an old friend forward to plank position hover down take your time and then lift up dog feel that stretch in the neck back to down dog and again forward lower down slowly look at that hover look at that space between myself and the mat that is neat i love doing that side to side back to down dog again inhale forward plank position lower down take your time burn it out and then open up up dog okay now here we go we're going to bring it forward to plank position now 20 mountain climbers with the knees across squeeze the abdominals get a nice steady pace right here really burn it out modify by just holding the plank or dropping the knees down exhale as you bring the knee across 20 now slower down really get the most out of it as we get to our cool down right after we do this one more time knees across squeeze those abdominals work in the arms work in the shoulders all right lower down hover oh i didn't do it very long my arms are tired and then open up upward facing dog good relax that jaw back to down dog now we're going to do this one more time <clears throat> with the mountain climbers our big finisher take it forward 20 times mountain climber knees across slow and steady wins the race oh yeah sexy stuff Targeting the abdominals and the rest of the body. Try to keep the bouncing to a minimum. I'm doing a little bit here. That means you got more of the core engaged. Feeling this everywhere right now. Love it. Every muscle. Adding an extra little crunch. And then lower down. Upward facing dog. And let's reward ourselves, my friends. Child's pose. Knees far apart. Bottoms feet together. And breathe. Let's really pour on that breath. Fingers are loose. You can turn the palms up to the sky. Shoulders relaxed. Lots of breath. Let's thread that needle. Take your right arm, slide it underneath the left. Draw that left shoulder back. You also have the hand on the lower back. Sometimes I like to take my hand back there and just massage those muscles. You can feel any tight spots. The last you know, number of years, my right lower back periodically gets a little tight. So I do a little stretching and it just goes away. And then we go to the other side, kind of helping along with that stretch. Thread the needle, keep reaching through a little further, taking the eyes to that hand. <clears throat> Love those sprinklers. Love them because you get the mist. It keeps spraying up on you. Makes it even more delightful when you're filming. All right, bring the arm through. Baby Cobra, forearms down. Just want to wrap with you here for a second <laughs> i want to face you palms are flat shoulders are back breathing move the head side to side a little bit hi there nice and sweaty and pink <laughs> from the sun don't worry the sun's not very intense all right let's bring it up and over butterfly stretch hands on the feet use the elbows to open up the hips as you exhale let the hips open a little bit more as you inhale, lift a little bit. Deep breathing, opening the hips, working a little psoas muscles there. If you want more, just bring the hands further forward. <clears throat> a 
Your body is so warm right now. This is the time to stretch. All right, walk the hands up. Let's twist. Twist to the left here. Looking back, shoulders relaxed. There we go. Get that shirt out of there. All right, come to the center. And then to the other side. Twist. You're wringing out the sides. Just setting yourself up for an amazing day, week, month with these workouts. Back to the center. Take the arms to the sides. Cross the legs this time. Fix short shorts in, up and over, side bend. Lengthen that side. That feels just marvelous. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Deep stretch. Again, bring it over. Bring the forearm down if you want, if you're feeling nuts. There we are. Oh, there's a stretch. I can feel it. I just filmed this yesterday. I'm feeling all of it right there. I love it. All right, take the arms up. Exhale. Open the chest. Draw the arms down slowly. And one more time, my friends. Bring the palms together. Slowly bring the hands down right in front of the chest. Thank you very much. And let's go live once again to Sean. And that, my friends, Vinyasa Flow Total Workout. Working your core, working everything else. And we got that great cool down at the end. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this kind of workout, head to my store, seanvigfitness.com slash store, and subscribe to my vault, and you will get workouts just like this, even longer, every week in your inbox. And as well as all the previous workouts that have come before, so you sign up now, you get over 15 full-length workouts, and then a new one every week, every week. So check that out in my store. Sign up for my free e-newsletter. Share this, like it, comment. I appreciate you watching and doing along with me. If you have any comments, let me know. It's always an honor to work out with you, to have your eyeballs, and as always, God bless my friends. We'll see you next time. Suddenly